What up everyone, we're out at Keystone today. It's a pow day. And today I'm on the Nidecker Alpha Snowboard mounted up with the Union Falcor bindings. And uh, we're gonna do a bit of exploring. Normally on a day like this, I'd go straight to the backside of the mountain, try to get as far out as I can. But I think today I'm gonna start things off with a fun tree run on the front side of the mountain. We'll see how it is, it's probably skied out a little bit already. And uh, then we'll start heading out back. Let's get it. All right, working our way towards the outback now. Gonna go all the way to the furthest end of the resort here. My favorite tree zone is back there, so we're gonna check that out. And uh, based on what we found up front, I think the trees are gonna be pretty good today. So we'll do some exploring, see if we can find some untracked powder in these trees, ideally.
been an absolutely insane day so far. So much good snow out here at Keystone. I think I'm gonna go back to the first zone we were at out here. I know a spot where if you traverse, just keep going on the traverse, you can get untracked turns. So uh, we'll get that going this lap. And uh, I've got so much footage today, I figured I'd give some feedback on this board uh, while we're cruising through some trees here. I'll overlay that footage. So uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, today I'm on the Nidecker Alpha tapered directional board rocker up front got some camber in the profile as well for stability and this thing is handling the powder even like those bottomless turns in the trees we're finding it's floating really well i am staying a little bit more on my back foot just to help that nose a little bit i'm on the 153 out here today uh, but really once you have your speed up you don't got to be scared to wait that front foot really dive into those turns and this thing's going to pop up right out of the powder Got a nice, pretty nimble feel to it as well. That tail kind of has a notch uh, that kicks in to reduce that surface area even more in the tail. So this thing's feeling great out here and it's still got some good stability. It's a decently stiff snowboard. So going through the moguls and the choppier snow on the main runs, it's feeling good too. So uh, just an incredible day out here overall at Keystone. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. Uh, let's see if we can get some more powder. I know that there's already been a ton of powder clips, but I mean, you got to get it when it's good. So let's keep it going. been so good out here today just did a few laps without filming it's about two o'clock now so probably about to head back to the front side of the resort here head back to the truck uh, i figured i'd film one more lap going through some chopped up powder here in the trees uh, on the way out and share kind of that end of day tree skiing here at keystone with you guys i bet we can still find some stashes in here too though Well, that's probably in the top three best days I've ever had at Keystone in the last seven years. Incredible snow, incredible day out here on the Nidecker Alpha. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for the review on that snowboard, as well as all the other videos that are coming this season. You can check out the Alpha with the link down in the description if you wanna read more about this snowboard or check out any of the gear I'm running out here today. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in a new one soon. Take care, guys. What?